The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Spartan Sports Central, I'm Justin Allegri. San Jose State football team 1-1 one one after their 59-13 loss at the hands of number 5 Auburn last Saturday. We'll recap that game. We'll also talk to San Jose State head coach Ron Carragher about the upcoming bye week and the Minnesota game. But first, let's revisit the highlights at Auburn. San Jose State in War Eagle country. There is spirit, the War Eagle for the Auburn Tigers as the Spartans take on SEC opponent Auburn, the fifth ranked team in the country. The first time the two programs have ever met. We start off with the first drive for Auburn and quarterback Nick Marshall broke free on a draw play and you thought, oh no, here's a great play. Hustling is Jimmy Pruitt and Simon Kinnett to force the fumble and give the Spartans the ball back after a touchback in the end zone to start off the game. San Jose State, however, could not convert it into points. Next Tigers possession, they drove 67 yards on 11 plays, finishing with this Ricardo Lewis touchdown to make it 7 to nothing. San Jose State would strike back on the first play of their second drive, a beautiful pump fake from Blake Jurich to a 75-yard touchdown score, Tyler Irvin, and it made it 7-7, Spartans and Tigers. The run game, though, for Auburn was evident early on between Nick Marshall and Cameron Artis Payne. The Tigers had 230 of their 358 yards on the ground for the day from those two players. Here is Artis Payne with his first touchdown on the day that made it 14-7 in favor of Auburn in the first quarter. Spartan quarterback Blake Jurich also had a successful day on the ground. He had 13 carries for 59 yards total. Here is one of his draw plays that he brought back up the middle, sliding for the first down. However, he did throw a couple of interceptions to a very good Auburn defense. This one is picked off by Jermaine Whitehead, who returned it for 19 yards, and this is already his second interception of the year. Then Quan Bray went to work for the Tigers on this punt return, staying on his feet through multiple tackle attempts for a 55-yard punt return for a touchdown, making it 28-7. Artis Payne then went to work again on the ground and added his third touchdown of the game, taking a commanding 35-7 lead for Auburn. Spartans would respond with a nice drive, though, that we'll cover a little bit later on here more in depth, but it was Tyler Irvin who started with a 33-yard return on the kick to set up a nice field position for San Jose State. After a couple of first downs, Austin Lopez knocked in the field goal from 27 yards out, his 40th career field goal, which passed Joe Nenny for second all-time at SJSU. Ultimately, San Jose State loses the game. They fall to 1-1 one one on the season. Auburn improves to 2-0 overall on their year, 59-13, the final score. Here's San Jose State head coach Ron Carragher after the game. I, I told the players uh, no need to hang their head. I thought we played hard. I thought we uh, came out fast and, and played some pretty good football. And uh, I, the most important thing in this game is coming out, being a team, playing together. And I think uh, there's some really good experiences, and we knew that coming in, uh, some valuable lessons. Uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity to play, uh, play this game. I think our guys can, can learn some good things. It's a good team. And uh, we knew that coming in. And uh, I just, uh, I thought there were some big plays made by the guys. I, I liked how the defense came back. Great effort uh, right off the bat. I think it was, uh, it might have been Forrest Hightower, Lawrence, or Jimmy, Jimmy Pruitt. Okay, came flying in and, and great effort. Stripped the football from their number 14. And uh, that was great stuff. We want to see a team that, that plays like that. And I was real encouraged. Uh, Blake, you know, uh, he, he was getting bare impression, was bearing down on him. He threw a beautiful touch pass that Tyler Irvin uh, caught uh, for a whatever, 50 some yard plus touchdown. And it was good stuff. And I think we were battling, we were competing, and, and things just got away. They're a good power run team, and uh, they, they do some good things, and, and they have some good players and well coached and you combine all those and you got a probably a top top 10 football type team so uh, it was good uh, there's you know some encouraging things we can we can learn from we go back and watch but all in all um, it was uh, uh, that's a good football team and, and when you play them you just have to play really flawless um, football for four quarters and uh, it just kind of got away there 
Time now for this week's Lexus Drive of the Game, and for it we'll go back to Auburn and a drive that the Spartans had that resulted in a field goal for San Jose State and kept it close in the second quarter. San Jose State drive starts with Tyler Irvin returning for 32 yards from the kick to the San Jose State 33-yard line. Good field position for the Spartans to start off their drive. San Jose State would then go to Lima High Hefo on back-to-back -back plays. The first carry getting three yards, then Hefo was stopped by the Auburn defense on his second try. That made it third and seven, but Blake Jurich connected with Tim Crawley here over the middle for a nine yard gain and a big first down on this drive. After that, it was back to Hefo, this time running over right tackle to grab 13 yards and the second consecutive first down for San Jose State into Auburn territory at the 42 yard line. After a Tiger offside, Hefo ran right for a short gain, leaving the Spartans with a second and three. Jurch went for the big ball down the sideline and a spectacular catch by Tyler Winston tiptoeing the line to make the grab in coverage for a gain of 22 yards. That set up first down and 10 from the Auburn 13-yard line. Jurich would run it out for five yards and then take a shot at the end zone for Tyler Winston, but it would fall incomplete. The Spartans on third down would go for a short screen pass that left them just shy of a first down to Tyler Winston. On came Austin Lopez for the 27-yard kick. That was good, and in doing so, he passed Joe Nenny for second place all time on the field goal made list at San Jose State with number 40 in his Spartans career. Overall, the drive was 10 plays, 57 yards, and in four minutes and 49 seconds, resulting in the Austin Lopez 27-yard field goal kick. And that is this week's Lexus Drive of the Game. Now we'll step outside of football and look at some of the scores from around the rest of San Jose State athletics in the last week of play, including soccer and volleyball. Spartan Volleyball played their home opener at Spartan Gym, located inside the newly renovated YUH building, against St. Mary's last week. Tiana Roy had nine kills to lead the Spartans, but the contest did not go in their favor as the Spartans fell three to nothing. Spartans also played a doubleheader later in the week, and here are the two results from those two contests. Now the team will have seven matches on the road before they return home for a Mountain West Conference matchup against New Mexico on September 25th. That game will be a six o'clock start time. Both Spartan soccer coaches got their first win at home this week. Head coach Simon Toman of the men's team picked up a convincing 4-1 victory over the University of Massachusetts last Tuesday. Ruben Watt got things started early for the Spartans with an open net goal assisted by Rory Nibs and Jonathan Kalunga. Nibs would go on to post four points in the contest, scoring three goals in the second half, including this one with a great second effort coming out of the young sophomore. The Spartans sealed the victory with this lead pass by Jonathan Kalunga to Nibs. They got the 4-1 to one victory over UMass, but lost later in the week to Stanford 2 to nothing. Here's the numbers from that game as well. Men's soccer returns home on September 19th to face the University of Pacific. That is a 3 o'clock start. Head coach Lauren Hansen led the Spartans to a 1-0 victory over Sacramento State, then took the team on the road to secure a 4-0 shutout victory over the University of Pacific. Gabriella Stang stayed hot on the season with an unassisted goal just 18 seconds into the match. Rivera made it 2 to nothing, capitalizing on a misplayed ball by the specific goalkeeper. In the second half, Gabriela Stang offered a perfectly placed corner kick that was headed in by Alexis Vinegas to give the Spartans a 3 0 lead. The women now have a long road stretch until they face San Diego State at Spartan Soccer Fields on September 26th at 2 o'clock. We'll take another break here on Spartan Sports Central. When we return, Coach Carragher will be in studio to talk about the game and look ahead to Minnesota. More on Spartan Sports Central when we return. the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event, you'll discover what happens when we break the rules. The rules that said a luxury car should be powered by gasoline only. 
we introduced the world's first luxury hybrid. And now, 85% of all luxury hybrids on the road are Lexus hybrids. The result? The gold standard of luxury hybrids. And the only place you'll find it is at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Lease the 2014 CT200H for $299 a month for 27 months, and we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. With millions of businesses all in one place, the YP app can help you do pretty much anything. But can it get you to the moon? You'll need a space helmet. YP can do that. You'll need the highest rated hardware stores. Check. YP even has a cheap gas finder, which is perfect for longer trips. The even more powerful, so much more than a search engine yellow pages. YP can do that. I'm starving. Where's the food? Who's hungry? Una Mas. No way. Every party can use Una Mas. Fresh from the market ingredients is the essence of great tasting Mexican food. We grill our chicken and steak to perfection. And our fusion of traditional Mexican dishes means delicious, healthy choices for you. Una Mas. We taste better. We should invite her again. back on Spartan Sports Central, now joined by San Jose State Head Coach Ron Carrier. And Coach, we knew it was going to be a tough game in Auburn. Uh, number five team is always going to be a tough team at their place. Uh, what did you now, looking back at that game, what did you and the coaching staff and the team learn from that game? Well, I think uh, it was a great opportunity to learn from that football game. They're an excellent team, as you mentioned, uh, not just from a schematic standpoint, but a talent standpoint. Uh, they're very good, as we knew going into it. I think it's a great uh, opportunity for our team to, to learn from situations. Uh, their offense was very diverse. They do a lot of things and they do it at an up-tempo speed. Mm -hmm. So we have to be able to adjust. And, and then from an offensive standpoint, same thing. They're very good on defense. They're big up front. They're athletic up front. And we need to hold our, our, our blocks just a bit longer, whether it's run or route certain depth, throws, everything. We just need to be in tune, to be the team we want to be. And so I think as we take in this game against Auburn, we go back to the drawing board and we get to emphasize with our players, hey, it's the little details, those mm -hmm. little things, because we could have been, that game could have been closer than it was had we finished certain plays and done things. But all in all, Justin, the effort was good. I was pleased. We made some big plays. We competed well with them. And uh, we just can improve uh, moving forward. Yeah, that's one thing you wanted to see, effort and intensity. And I think that was mm -hmm. there, evident in the first drive of the game for the, for the defensive side, where right. Nick Marshall breaks free. You think, all right, here, Auburn has a, their first touchdown of the game. Right. Not to be because of good hustle play. Yeah, great trademark for our defense right there. We want that to be a vision. Never quit, never give up always running and Jimmy right to the very end mm -hmm. before before their quarterback went in the end zone for a touchdown he knocked the ball loose so we love the huff, hustle we want to continue to improve in the uh, execution area. Now how about Blake Jurich? Uh, we saw him very good against North Dakota right. and obviously a tougher defense that he was facing yeah. this week. How did you feel that he did? I know a yeah. couple interceptions, one maybe not so much his fault, yeah. uh, but how was his performance? I think pretty good. When you consider on the road, this is his second start in front of 90,000 fans, mm -hmm. uh, top five team in the country. You throw those factors in, uh, it's a challenging environment for any quarterback to go in there. And, and Blake in his second start made some big plays. Uh, the, the wheel route he threw to Tyler Irvin mm -hmm. was he got hit and drilled right after he threw it. And that's the sign of a good quarterback. He can hang in there and throw an accurate catchable pass under, uh, under rush of the opponent. So I was pleased by his performance. I thought he did well. There's some areas we can fine tune again there, but all in all, it was a good performance. Well, a couple of things to follow up with that. He wanted to come in after taking a couple more <laughs> licks late in that game. Saw you guys on the sideline yeah. talking about it. What was that conversation like? And you ultimately said, hey, Blake, you know, let's let's sit this one out near the yeah. end of the fourth quarter there and yeah. bring Joe in. And, and I played him up through there because 
let's face it, he hasn't played a lot of college football. Uh, th he's a fifth-year senior, and he has one start under his belt. So uh, it, was, it was early in the fourth quarter, and I thought, I just wanted to get some success, gain some momentum for the first unit. I knew the game was, was pretty much tough at that point, but I wanted to get some momentum. And he got hit pretty, pretty hard, and, and uh, we seemed to think he'd be okay, but we thought we'd have to do x-rays, uh, precautionary. And after we told Joe he's in, Blake... Blake came up to me and says, "How come? Uh, why, why aren't I in?" And I said, "Blake, I'd be crazy to put you in right now." I said, uh, "Hey, you rest, you recover, and uh, it's nice to see Joe get in there and have some success." Right. So he did a good job moving the chains and completing some passes. Well, I mean, I guess the next question is, how is the health of the team? We saw Blake get knocked down a few mm -hmm. times. Christian Taga was on the field once. Uh, Vince Buhajer was also down right. for a little bit. So coming out of a game where you were playing such a physical team, big team, yeah. how is how is the it's health? Pretty now? good. I good. think if we played this Saturday, uh, everyone would be healthy and good to go. So I'm encouraged. It was a physical game on both sides, both sides, mm -hmm. and they had some guys get up pretty slow too yeah. in the game as well. And that's a good sign that that uh, we were playing it from a physical standpoint. But all in all, we're pretty healthy and and uh, and ready to uh, to improve and move forward in a healthy manner. Saw you guys expand the playbook a little mm -hmm. bit in that game too, and I, I probably anticipated that, of mm -hmm. course, but. Uh, how do you know how much to really show, especially this early in the season? You probably right. have to pull out some big plays against a big defense, right. but you also have to keep some in your back pocket, right? Yeah, absolutely. And there's two sides to that. One side would be save some things for down the road, but the other side is make people have to prepare sure. for everything. And so if they see more things, they have to spend time practicing all those things, and you're, you're diluting them from practice time spending on your, your main uh, style of offense. So I think it's good. We have a, a wide uh, array of, of things we do offensively. Coach Doherty, uh, cre very creative. Coach Malley, Coach Carter, Coach Rowland. The offensive staff guys can, can be creative and I think we have some good things to do. And uh, we implemented some. Some didn't work. Some didn't work so well. But that's okay. That's part of the game and part of uh, trying to, uh, to move the chains. One of those plays you guys threw out there this week was the flex out that the two tackles in right. front of wide receivers. And we saw that last year. Right. But the variation this year was it was a quarterback draw play. It worked great. Right, it did. And and we give the quarterback the option in that play. And, and we had a fold block. Brandon Monroe led up on the Mike Backer. And I think it was a 12-14 mm -hmm. uh, yard gain. Big first down. And so it's nice. And now people have to spend practice time defending mm -hmm. that. And it was an effective play. Well, I want to also talk about, you talked about some of the maturity mm -hmm. playing in an Auburn team. But how about Forrest Hightower? It's a guy that... Came in as a starting role this year. He had a couple of tackles for loss against mm -hmm. North Dakota. Then he had another half tackle for loss. He was flying again all over the place. Pass breakup, seven tackles. Talk about him because he is, seems to have emerged now as one of the leaders on the defensive side. He has, and we picked him a uh, team captain or game captain for the North Dakota game. Uh, Forrest Hightower is a veteran player. He's in graduate school. He's He made a decision here, I want to say two years ago when we got here, to, to do things the right way, to go down that path, to, to do what we ask. He's done everything we've asked, and it's so nice to see it, him being rewarded on the field as a player. He's a safety. He can play both safety positions. He can play nickelback for us. Uh, he could play special teams, and we would allow that to go more, but we use him so much on defense. So Forrest just brings some leadership. He's a uh, a, he, he's not that vocal guy that's yeah. going to talk a lot, but he, he back, he, his actions speak louder than his words. And he's well respected. And I think, Justin, one of the most the best things he does that all veteran players do that are good leaders is take those young guys under their arms. Yeah. So Forrest has taken a Maurice McKnight or a Andre Chachere or a David Williams yeah. under his wing and just coaching them up. Hey, this is the Spartan way. This is how we do things here. And uh, all in all, uh, really excited about Forrest and, and the type of senior year he's having thus far. All right, we'll take a quick break with Coach Carrier. We'll talk bye week when we come back. More on the program when we return. I'm starving. Where's the food? Who's hungry? Una Mas. No way. Every party can use Una Mas. Fresh from the market ingredients is the essence of great tasting Mexican food. We grill our chicken and steak to perfection, and our fusion of traditional Mexican dishes means delicious, healthy choices for you. Una mas, we taste better. We should invite her again. At the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event, you'll discover what happens when we cut corners. The corners of Test Tracks, where we engineered our most track-tested line of performance vehicles ever. The result? our gold standard of performance. And the only place you'll find it 
is at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Lease the 2014 GS350 for 409 a month for 24 months, and we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. With millions of businesses all in one place, the YP app can help you do pretty much anything. But can it get you to the moon? You'll need a space helmet. YP can do that. You'll need the highest rated hardware stores. Check. YP even has a cheap gas finder, which is perfect for longer trips. The even more powerful, so much more than a search engine yellow pages. YP can do that. Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. Welcome back on Spartan Sports Central. Still here, sitting here with San Jose State head coach Ron Carragher. And coach, going into the first bye week now, uh, so an opportunity to really maybe take a look at the team two games under mm. and see, all right, what do we need to change? What do we need to evaluate? Uh, definitely. Uh, bye weeks can be uh, very helpful to a, a team's development, a young football team. It gives you some extra time to work with your players. And, and we're looking at it as a really a, an introductory week to Minnesota, week mm -hmm. one, if you will, of, of two weeks preparation for them. Uh, but also a chance to, to further develop our young players, to bring them along schematically, fundamental-wise, and, uh, and then also to give some of our players a little extra time to, to heal and, and get healthy. Because even though we are healthy, there are some, there are some tired guys out there from uh, really since August 1st, we've been going nonstop, mm -hmm. and so it would be good for them to get a, a few days off next weekend. Well, you had the one game against North Dakota where you got a big win, and then the other game against Auburn where it's a tough team. Mm -hmm. So you had two kind of contrasting games to look at. How do you try to sort through what's going good, what's going bad when you have two different styles of games? Yeah, I think really it hones down to us. It's not necessarily the opponent, even though those outcomes were so were very different. Mm -hmm. But I think just focusing on us, who we are, what we do, how we execute, how our players uh, are, are continuing to develop in our schemes mm -hmm. and, and bringing them along. I think, as I, I mentioned before, it's so important as a team to get better each and every week. And, and were we better than uh, in the Auburn game against North Dakota? We very well might have been. Mm -hmm. We just played a, a different opponent and uh, a really good team. And I think that's the point over the course of a season, continue to get better. And uh, there's some areas to shore up. We, we know that. Uh, and there's some areas that we're, we're good at. Mm -hmm. And we want to continue to be good in those areas, but shore up the areas that we feel like we uh, can improve in. Well, now one thing that Spartan fans are going to see differently mm -hmm. next week uh, at Minnesota is running back. Jared Lawson will return next right. week. Correct. Uh, and, and if you look at it, the, the starting mm -hmm. depth chart coming into fall camp, you had Lawson and Tucker. Uh, didn't have Lawson for the first two games, didn't have Tucker last game. Right, correct. And those are two good backs, one-two punch. They both bring different uh, strengths to the table, mm -hmm. and uh, they're well-respected by their teammates. But we'll really uh, welcome both those guys back. Thomas Tucker is a big play guy. He's He can catch the ball well. He can run perimeter routes. He, he uh, makes people miss in the space. Jared Lawson just has a knack for finishing mm -hmm. forward and, and turning something into a one- or two-yard gain into three-, four-, or five-yard gain. So we're excited to get those two going. Now, Jared's been practicing those. He things. has. He's been working hard. He's been down helping our team out, being a team player and being on the scout team mm -hmm. and simulating the opponent but we'll welcome him back with the offense now you and I were talking he's not a guy you want to have a chip on his shoulder when you go up and play against him. no <laughs> you don't he's, he's he plays hard as it is and if he he comes out the gate with with that chip on his shoulder he's he's uh, he's formidable he's tough to bring down he's tough to tackle he's very good pass protector all those things so we're really excited to have him back not just from a, a running back standpoint but from a team standpoint an energetic standpoint he he brings a lot to the table now we talked about this last Last year, Coach, uh, going into the first by trying to find a team identity, and mm -hmm. it's something throughout the course of the season you ultimately find. Don't know how you find it, but you right. do. 
what would you say the identity of the team is now, and, and are you still trying to find what's going on? Because I, I know mm -hmm. last year, maybe we'd say the Hawaii game last year was right. really true. where we found true. out what the identity of the true, team was. True, Yeah, thus far, I would have to say uh, defensively, we, we play hard, we run to the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, our guys are, are, are getting lined up as tough as it was the Auburn game to get mm -hmm. lined up. Sometimes they did some, some last second shifts and motions that were challenging, but I think we're, we're playing hard, we're, we're tackling, we're rallying to the football. Um, and I think that's kind of our theme on, on defense, and I think from an offensive standpoint, uh, I think we're, uh, we're doing a good job, moving the chains, making big plays. And uh, I think that's been, been beneficial, whether it's Blake with his arm or his legs or, or Tyler Winston or, or Tyler Irvin as well. But we have some nice explosive plays, and I think we can kind of hit people from any, anywhere on the field, mm -hmm. and uh, we have to make them in, in, defend the entire field width-wise and length-wise. Well, Coach, uh, I know you, you may not had a chance to really watch too much of Minnesota yet or really prep for them yet, but uh, what can you tell us about the Golden Gophers team that – Saw last year right. in Minnesota and going out there again. Yeah, they are a big physical football team. When you think of Big Ten football, you mm -hmm. think of, of the power run game. You think of teams being physical, and uh, they're definitely right up that alley. And, and last year they ran for a lot of yards on us, and, mm -hmm. and we need to, to not uh, uh, endure that. We need to be able to put a stop to it. Um, and, and force them to do things they're not as comfortable doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the kind of team. Defensively, they, they play hard, they run to the ball, they're four down front. Uh, but it's going to be a challenge going back, another road game, mm -hmm. another uh, this trip to the Midwest, and, and what one our guys will embrace and, and they're very much uh, going to look forward to. All right, that's San Jose State head coach Ron Carriger. Coach, thanks as always. With millions of businesses all in one place, the YP app can help you do pretty much anything. But can it get you to the moon? You'll need a space helmet. YP can do that. You'll need the highest rated hardware stores. Check. YP even has a cheap gas finder, which is perfect for longer trips. The even more powerful, so much more than a search engine yellow pages. YP can do that. Where's the food? Who's hungry? Unamas! No way! Every party can use Unamas. Fresh from the market ingredients is the essence of great tasting Mexican food. We grill our chicken and steak to perfection, and our fusion of traditional Mexican dishes means delicious, healthy choices for you. Unamas, we taste better. We should invite her again. At the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event, you'll discover what happens when we break the rules. The rules that said a luxury car should be powered by gasoline only. We introduced the world's first luxury hybrid, and now 85% of all luxury hybrids on the road are Lexus hybrids. The result? The gold standard of luxury hybrids. And the only place you'll find it is at the Lexus Golden Opportunity Sales Event. Lease the 2014 CT200H for $299 a month for 27 months, and we'll make your first month's payment. See your Lexus dealer. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup honors the nation's best overall collegiate athletic program in each division, men's and women's sports. The prestigious award continues its reign as the crowning achievement in college athletics. To follow your favorite team, like us on Facebook, find us in USA Today, online, and on Twitter at LS Directors Cup. Over two decades of excellence, the Learfield Sports Directors Cup. With millions of businesses all in one place, the YP app can help you do pretty much anything. But can it get you to the moon? You'll need a space helmet. YP can do that. You'll need the highest rated hardware stores. Check. YP even has a cheap gas finder, which is perfect for longer trips. The even more powerful, so much more than a search engine yellow pages. YP can do that. Welcome back on Spartan Sports Central. That does it for this week's program. Once again, San Jose State takes on the Golden Gophers. Not this Saturday, 
But next Saturday after the bye, that game time has been announced as a 1 o'clock Pacific kickoff, 12.30 pregame show on 1590 KLIV and the rest of our Spartan Radio Network. Thanks for watching this week's episode. We'll see you next time.